Hey friends and welcome to my channel. I am Yoshida and this is Norris Cove. Um, I've been wanting to get back to my budgeting. It's imperative that I get back to my budgeting, but I'm trying to also budget in my B6. Um, I do budget in my B6, but I wanted like a monthly kit for my B6. So I just cooked up this little kit. I was trying to make a duplicate because I have another insert coming. Plus, uh, let me see if I can find uh, what I just bought. And I got these from Staples. They're like inserts for a traveler's notebook. I didn't get a size. Um, it do kind of fit here in my B6, as you can see. But it's just a little wee bit too big, but it fits. But I got this as a backup after I get my insert from 1407 planners that's basically like this so i want to start with the mini first i already had this here this note section so i just want to see how it's going to go this is the mini kit that i made this is the full kit um i'm not liking how this come out for some reason i just cannot remember to how to offset my words but it has variable expenses fixed expenses some washi um, thick washer with weekly check-in, the month of July, income budgeted, expenses budgeted, total expenses, a couple total boxes, item descriptions, bill due stickers. I used to have like 28 bill due stickers. I cut those down, made these little small boxes for month like monthly boxes for a you know TN, and then these monthly boxes here. Then we have our categories as sinking funds, baby steps, goals, income, cash, envelopes, and another thick washi. And then we're back to the mini. Is this the mini? Yes, this is the mini. So I want to start with the mini. Um, I'll probably speed through it. I just want to show you guys how I'm planning to budget in my B6. So let me get to the front. Okay, you all, so I'm finished. Let me get this out the way. All done. Now, I did have a little mishap here on my weekly check-in. It broke up, and weekly check-ins is what I really, really need. So, I'm going to pull out my B6, pull out all my bills, and I'm going to put them here. I have them in the month view. I'm going to put them in this view. So this is just like my estimated income. I needed to make two of these. So I wanted to do this for my B6 so I could just see exactly how I would use it. But this is how I decided to use it. And for my weekly check-in, I need to make an income and estimate actual. But I know that is income, so I'm just going to write it in. Income. Estimated. actual and then plus or minus so and then I need another banner here so that's something I need to add but I was so eager to get this kit up and my measurements were like on point 
I did have to trim this down a little bit, but only because I didn't take it to the edge here. So I need to work on my measurements there. But so my estimated income for the month, I'm just guesstimating. And I'll later come back and see. Yeah. I actually did that wrong. Let me like this out. That's the guesstimate. And that should be hair. Okay. And so my expenses, I always start with um, the ones that I know of first, which is my um, car note. It is 363. I don't know the change, but we're going to put 363. I pay that twice a month. Car insurance, life insurance. They're the same. Here lately it's been 219. So I will see. I should have put a date on that. Um, sale bill. That sale bill, Lord, only. I'm going to put down 250. That's my budget for that. Um, then I'll go into the smaller things. Schedulicity. That is $20. Then I have Affleck, that's $30, um, Amazon, that is $12.99, Apple is only $0.99, cent. Uh, I have a Capital One card now. And um, that minimum is, I'm going to put 100 but my minimum is 25 And I've actually given them $200 this month. Um, car insurance, life insurance, sale bill, simply gilded. I'm only going to get maybe one or two more uh, simply gilded boxes. And I'll be done. I'll get off of those before Christmas. I enjoy the pants. I'm not going to even lie. Um the gym. The gym is like $19, but that's $20. It's like $19.99. Um, I'm simply killed it. Wayfair. I have a Wayfair card, but I don't think I owe anything for this month, so I'm not going to put that down. Amazon Apple sale payment. Oh, my other card. I just put Hubby. We have a little personal one on that. And I give a hundred towards that. And my booth rent, that is $840, I think. I'll just see how it goes. So the first week, I just made income from here. So I left it small here. I was estimating 700. I did um, 980. Um, so I was up 280. Okay, my second week, I didn't write it down in here, it's in the other one. It was only hair. <clears throat> so I would buy my Erin Condor. Like I said, I keep my budget in so many different places. It was, that was the 13th. Okay, 13th. Um, I really didn't have a budget and put 800 and it was 1777 and that's actually including a loan so <clears throat> without the loan it wouldn't have I just included the loan as a income because it was income for me so $77. So, that is my July budget. <clears throat> so, I've been keeping track of how much I've been spending. Um, so, I think that's where my variables are going to go. Um, let me also show you how else I keep my budget in my B6. So this is like my daily sales. 
I have it decorated as you can see. So this is for the month of July. And I just write down what I make every day. So it's like I said, it's in several different places. And then back here is kind of where I was budgeting. So I just write everything down. And then I just cross it off as I pay it. But I'd like to see it in this form because I was going to get the Erin Condren um, Petite Planner. And I was like, man, I really want that. I think, that, you know, it's just like my Erin Condren Deluxe and I can use that, but I just didn't want to buy a plan, I mean, a cover for it. So I'm going to slide this in here. And then I have some Bill Do stickers here. I'm going to, they don't match my little spread here, but, and I forgot something on the 19th. It probably, it doesn't fit, but it's okay. I need to make those a little smaller. Um, so that is it for my mini kit. So I'm going to perfect that kit because um, I really like that. And I like having it, I wanted to put it closer, but I like having it in my B6. What did I do with it? Yellow, I lost it already. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> so I like having it. So like I said, I keep my budget in several different places so that I can do better with um, paying my bills on time. But I just wanted to have like a kit inside of my B6 besides my monthly that I get from um, Nikki Plus 3. And I'm debating if I'm going to attempt to make one of these monthly um, kits for the month part but I really enjoy her stickers but um, yeah so this is what I got going on and that way I can see it in the same form that I see it um, in my monthly in my Erin um, Condren so I'm going to probably do a quick Erin Condren video matter of fact I'm just going to speed through this just so you can see how I do it and then I'll be back so I didn't do July so after today I'm going to be working on um, my August kit so I can get caught up because I wasn't going to do this anymore but I'm excited about it so let's start oh this paper is so delicate Okay, you guys, so I don't know what part cut off, but I just added my total boxes, income budget, actual, didn't put in the um, actual amount. I have my monthly laid out, and these stickers are so, so delicate. I got the new uh, premium paper, the waterproof um, matte paper, and it is so sensitive, so a lot of my stickers were tearing up. But it's okay because it's just for me. So I'm not even worried about it. So I'm starting to sink in funds. And I'm starting cash envelopes again. So we're going to start that probably next week on the cash envelopes. I'll write in my categories. I'll come back in and do an end of the week um, budget. And let you all know how that went. So And we're doing goals. So thank you all so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I did two in one. I sped through this. Well, most of me laying the stickers down so I wouldn't 
ramble on too bad. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you again for stopping by. If you're new to my channel, you want to follow along with me on my um, budgeting journey, please hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.